Um, awesome, this is a great opportunity to speak uh, and, and break in uh, Open Doors and the presentation that we're going through. So um, we'll go right into it. So Open Doors is the athlete endorsement marketplace. And the story for what we uh, do and how we came about starts with Herdat. And this is a building right across the street. So in 2010, we started a social media agency, Herdat. And our uh, vision was to help businesses and brands connect with their customers through social media. And over the first six months, we worked just with businesses and brands around the Midwest, some around the nation, um, and had a handful of great clients. We started to realize that our former teammates, my co-founder, Audie Kanalik, also played at Nebraska. Our former teammates were now in the NFL, and just like businesses and brands, they had to find a way to engage their fans through social media. So we had athlete clients and brand clients in 2011. And when our brand clients would need a boost in their social media activity, we'd have an athlete tweet about them. Well, the brand loved it. Their consumers loved it. They got a high amount of engagement. And it was just a cool thing to have an athlete talk about a brand. And so we continued this process. Brand needed a boost. Athlete talked about them. Brand needed a boost. Athlete talked about them. And we started to look and say, man, we're in the athlete endorsement industry. And the more we got into the athlete endorsement industry, the more we realized that it sucks. Um, the <laughs> process for us to get one tweet from one athlete looks a little bit like this. You have you know, one week of researching uh, and trying to prove to the brand what athlete they should work with, another week of trying to find that athlete's agent, maybe work with a team, they're a sports league. Once you get a hold of the agent, they take a week to respond to you. Um, then you have to pitch them what, it's, what your budget is. They're going to ask you to double it to work with their athlete no matter what. And then eventually you have to hire a lawyer to draft an endorsement agreement, get it signed, make sure the athlete actually does their job, sends out the tweets or shows up for their appearance. I mean, this is supposed to be long, small text and confusing because this is what happens um, anytime that a brand wants to use an athlete to market their products. So scratching our head a little bit and thinking everything can be done better, um, we started to explore a solution for the athlete endorsement industry. And that is how we came up with Open Doors. And Open Doors takes all of this process and simplifies it into three steps. One, brands pitch deals to an athlete. Our software delivers this uh, the deal to the athlete's agent. They approve the deal. Athlete receives a text message, hits OK on their phone, and it's all done. Um, we manage the contract, the payment, uh, the fulfillment, the measurement, everything on the back end. So we've taken the eight-week process and simplified it to about eight-minute process. And what this does is it opens up a lot of opportunity in the athlete endorsement industry. So what does the product look like? This is the marketplace. So brands log in to a marketplace where they're able to filter and find the athlete that's the right fit for their brand uh, based on location, based on price, based on um, the type of fans they influence. It's, uh, it's all there and we're adding more to the platform to help improve the search functionality. But the, each athlete Similar to buying a product on Amazon, you'll be able to go and look at the reviews, but we don't use customer reviews. We use social media metrics to determine an athlete's value. This is Golden Tate. He just won the Super Bowl with the Seattle Seahawks. Um, he's one of our best athlete users. A lot of brands enjoy working with the Golden Tate. And this, this is uh, $2,000 for a tweet, for one tweet from him. But what's interesting is that one tweet from Golden Tate will send you about 912 customers. And that's something that we can uh, tell you through the software that we've built. So once an athlete fits a campaign, much like Amazon, um, we really like to use that analogy in our offices, but it's, if you've ever bought a book, you can now build an athlete endorsement campaign. You simply add an athlete to your cart. Okay? Your cart becomes your campaign builder. So here we've selected four athletes to be part of this campaign. Um, and we can say, okay, Golden Tate, I want you to say, uh, this tweet at this date and this time and hit go. The moment you hit go, the process begins and it's delivered over to the agent for approval. So uh, getting rid of paper contracts, emails, phone calls, athlete or the agent receives a notice that says, this brand would like your athlete to endorse their product, yes or no. Um, and then the agent takes the next step and says, yep, I approve this deal. Athletes phone buzzes no matter where he's at in the world. He doesn't have to find a FedEx uh, office and 
get a contract and sign it, send it back. He just pulls up his phone, hits, looks good, and then he knows money is uh, coming his way. The deal from the consumer side looks like this. So this is Rex Burkhead, everyone knows Rex Burkhead, um, but Rex was selected by a brand in the fall to send a tweet about these sunglasses. And brand selected Rex, wrote the copy of what they wanted him to say, uploaded the image, his agent approved it, he approved it, um, and this deal took a little bit less than four days to do. So we're taking it from eight weeks to four days, so we're pretty proud of that. What's also great about this is results-wise, athlete endorsements work. Um, our average engagement rate is 1.2%. The average online engagement rate is around 0.2%. So it's six times higher engagement. And on this deal alone, uh, this company sold out all 100 of their sunglasses within two days of this tweet, um, netting them over $1,000 on a $200 endorsement. So the results are there. And one minute. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is our payment package. We simplified all that stuff too. Agents get a check for themselves, one for the athlete. Pretty sweet stuff, another part of our brand. Um, Golden Tate, during Super Bowl week, got two text messages, hit, hit, hit OK twice, and made $3,000. Um, he also sent 400 or almost 10,000 users to buy product from our businesses. So how do we make money? We make money every time a deal comes to the platform, we take 20 to 40% commission fee. Licensing, so as Danny mentioned, we just did our licensing deal with the NFL Players Association, giving us access to all of their players, and they pay us for that, which is novel, and then we're working on some recurring revenue with our agent users. This is where we're at now. We've got about 225 athletes in the marketplace. With our partnership, we'll be over 2,000. We work with 100 agents, we'll be over 800, um, and brands will go from 210 to 410. And since our launch in uh, April of last year, we've done nearly 1,200 deals through the software. And much as I mentioned the Amazon example, you know, our vision is to be the Amazon of athlete endorsements um, to help the sports industry understand and activate influence through software. Um, and we're very, very excited to uh, be in the position we're in. We're about to, to go out and raise our next round of funding so with that, call me if you want to toss some dollars our way or just buy a tweet. So yeah, that was the very quick, but hopefully that's an interesting way to look at what we do. Yeah, so. let's give a quick round of applause.